What is going on everybody? Welcome to your fourth Java tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be writing a basic hello world program. But before we get started, let me uh, point out to you guys one thing. Now I told you guys at the point of downloading Eclipse was a check for errors. And whenever you get those error messages, it's going to say what line that the error is on so we can fix it. But the thing with Eclipse, uh, and it's odd that it comes default like this, by default it comes without showing the line number so before we get started let me show you guys how to do one thing that I know a bunch of you guys are going to send me messages ask me how to do in your window uh, tab at the top go ahead and click on preferences and then your preferences uh, tab is going to pop up go ahead and expand your general editors text editors and once you click that it's going to have something that says show line number Go ahead and click show line number and go ahead and click apply. Now, if you guys could guess what this did, it wouldn't surprise you. Showed the line number right there. Now we have our line number, so whenever we get errors, which we're bound to get, um, we're going to know where to go and where to fix them. Now, as promised, let me get to the basic Java programming, which you've all been waiting for. Now in Eclipse, once you create a class, it already starts writing some of the code for you, and it creates a class. Now again, I know I told you guys in the last tutorial, but let me stress why a class is important. In Java, everything begins with a class. So if you don't have a class, then you don't have Java. Or excuse me, Java. I don't know what the heck you have if you don't have a class, but you need one in Java. So again, everything we're going to be writing in this tutorial is going to be inside your class semicolon. So make sure you're not typing out here or anything like that. And um, I'm going to be telling you guys exactly what a class is later. But for right now, all you need to know is to type inside it. So just bear with me here. Now inside your class, the first thing we're going to make is something called a method. Now what a method is is basically a recipe on how you want to run your program now the first thing your computer does when it runs a java program is it looks for a method called main and if it doesn't find the method main it has no idea where to start so in your computer in java built in is the instructions to your computer all right the first thing i want you to do is look for main and start there and from there i'm going to tell you what to do so since that's the case the first thing we need to build is a method called main so let's go ahead and do that so before I even start with that I want to teach you guys what the basic layout of a method is before we can even start building main now I told you guys method is pretty much like a recipe so let's go ahead and pretend we're writing a method now say we have a method called bake cake what this would be is the method header right here Again, the method header is pretty much um, a substitute for the method name. So bake cake is the name of the method, and this is also called the method header. Now inside your method, or inside your recipe, if I will, can uh, continue with that analogy, is all the steps that you need to take to bake that cake. So for example, one would be mixed batter, and the next one would be put in oven, and you probably have some other stuff after that. Eat the effing cake. Sorry for cussing. But again, this is called the method header, and the instruction of how you want to do things is called the method body. And all of this together, the head and the body, that's called the method. Who would have guessed it? So now that we know pretty much how to name a method, and how to put statements inside a method and what they are let's go ahead and write a basic method and again I told you guys all about main before so let's go ahead and do it go ahead and write public static why isn't public lit up oh it says oblique public static void main and then in your main put parentheses and put string a R G S and then put square brackets now again all you have to pay attention is this is your main method right here all this stuff I'm good it's important and I'm gonna be telling you what it means but I don't have time in this tutorial to tell you what it means so again this is um what was what I name it bake cake this is all this is and I know that you see a bunch of different keywords and trust me just bear with me you don't need to know them right now so just copy as I do and as I say 
Is that even a saying? I don't know, but just follow along. Now that we have a name of our method, we need to give it some instructions. And all we want this method to do is print something out on the screen. So let's go ahead and write system dot or period. Why did I write period right there? Uh, that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> system dot out dot print line. And after this, you want to go ahead and add parentheses and write hello YouTube. And I know I spelled YouTube wrong, but who cares? Now I write a semicolon. Now let me tell you guys what I just did. Print line is a built-in method, and what this is going to do is print a line out on your computer. Now, if you're saying that, you're probably asking, "All right, how come I needed to write system out then if this knows how to print a line?" Well, print line can actually uh, is pretty versatile method. It can actually print line to a database or a print line to your network, a print line to other things. But right now we want to uh, just print it to our system. So again, um, I'm pretty much just telling you how to work with Eclipse right now. So just bear with me right here. Now, once we have our method built, we want to go ahead and run this. So go ahead and click this little button on the right hand side of your screen and it's gonna run the program. Go ahead and you get this, click OK. And at the bottom, right here, you get something called hello UI tube and again that's what we pressed so that is how you build a basic um, method using of course your class which you need your method header in your method body and again your method header in your method body together creates something called a method who would have guessed it so that's your first tutorial on how to create a hello YouTube or hello UI tube program and I know you guys don't know what everything means right now but I don't have time to go through every one of these things every one of these things these keywords right here actually takes an entire tutorial to describe so um just bear with me uh, just stick with me for now and now that you guys know how to create a basic program uh, I can begin teaching you the more complex stuff and yes, Java is a entirely, completely complex program. So uh, just follow along with me for now. Type this out, and once you got your program working, you're ready to go on to the next tutorial. So I want to thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, just send me a message. But if not, just move on to my next tutorial. So again, thank you guys. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time.